Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. And in our top story today from Fox News, Walls roasted after declaring, we can't afford four more years of this at rally. And I couldn't agree more. We can't afford four more years of the establishment unit party because that's who's running the country. If it's uh, a mystery to people out there, and I can't imagine that it would be, the establishment unit party uninstalled Joe Biden as easily as they had installed him. And of course, as we've talked here on the channel, that it was a possibility that Joe Biden would be removed in some way before the 2024 election. And it came to fruition. Now, I didn't side with that ideology. I knew it was a possibility, but nonetheless, it did actually happen. So the Democratic vice presidential nominee appeared to ramble about four more years of an issue at a Pennsylvania rally issue. No doubt about it being an issue. Democrat vice presidential candidate Tim Walls rally goers in Pennsylvania Saturday told rally goers in Pennsylvania Saturday, we can't afford four more years of this prompting a wave of social media mockery and, of course, uh, well-deserved in a way. I guess it brought attention to the fact that it looks like Kamala is trying to distance herself from Joe Biden. But the reality is the establishment unit party is the one in control of the country. As a matter of fact, I mean, when was the last time you guys heard any sort of news from Joe Biden or seen any sort of presser or media coverage of joe biden i mean within i mean they did mention it when he was there with uh the indian leader and some other individuals to which he responded who's next he didn't even know what was going on when he had to introduce modi from uh india which is amazing but not surprising which is why they had to remove him of course during his speech in bethlehem pennsylvania on saturday afternoon walls was discussing gun violence when he became distracted by an audience member who appeared to need water uh, how, uh, I guess uh, I don't know how he was able to determine that. Walls, the running mate of Vice President Kamala Harris, strayed from his speech to call attention to the rally goer. So he was talking about this, and then he uh, mentioned this, and then now we're going into the segue of what happened there. Things like we did in Minnesota to have enhanced background checks, the red flag laws, to get guns out of there to make a difference, Walls described. And I still got my guns to go uh, shoot pheasants in a couple weeks. We need some water. We can get uh, a check on him. <clears throat> can we get a check on him? The candidate added while pointing at the attendee. So, yeah, this made kind of a bit of an issue, but I agree with what he's saying there. We, we can't. No one can. I mean, if you're an individual out there taking care of yourself or taking care of your family, you already know. If you're out there buying groceries, if you're out there taking care of bills, if you're out there taking care of the expenses of your home, or dealing with a business, or working in a business, or maybe at your work, everyone can see. It is clear. It is obvious. Everyone can feel the price changes and, and, and the additional amount of payments each month. It could be anywhere from 16 all the way up to 22% more. It's absolutely extraordinary how no one can notice. So I don't care what the establishment media does. If they say, or not the establishment and the establishment media when they say prices may be coming down or gas prices may be coming down. And if you do see them coming down, it should bring up a red flag to you to say, wait a minute, how are the prices coming down now, but not the last three years? You know, we have a can't, we, you know, there's an election going on, right? So it's not surprising, but it illustrates, it should be yet another illustration of the many that we talk about here, where the establishment unit party can make these adjustments. It's just absolutely extraordinary. Speaking of adjustments and things that are contrived, from Tony here, we have GPS 5,003 mobile devices at Kamala Harris Rally in Charlotte, North Carolina. On Thursday afternoon at Bojangles Coliseum, it appears over 3,600 came from Georgia here in my state, mainly Atlanta, Georgia, and approximately 720 from Savannah, Georgia. Now, Atlanta to Charlotte is about four hours, so it wouldn't be unreasonable for people to conclude that the reason they have these buses is so they can drive people from one city to another as opposed to a parking lot into a facility, which is really strange. I mean, how many facilities does Kamala go to that doesn't have parking that would require you to park somewhere far enough that would require a bus to get there? I mean, it's just simple understanding. I mean, trust me, I had to drive around Atlanta. When I worked as an Apple specialist and I had to go on site, I it was challenging to find parking spaces, but I didn't have any bus take me anywhere to drive around anywhere but at least even downtown atlanta there's there's places to park if you're trying to go somewhere so it's not like there's a bunch of buses there now if you're at a hotel you're in atlanta and you're going to the suburbs then you need to take a shuttle bus from the airport to the hotel but 
most every hotel, most coliseums, even uh, the you know the arenas and and the coliseums and the stadiums that we have here in Atlanta, you have parking that doesn't require a bus necessarily, at least a big large bus to get you from the parking lot to the stadium. It just it just it, it they're look they're like little shuttle buses, or you can take MARTA, of course, which is our subway system. But fascinating, isn't it? And from the AP. U.S. is sending more troops to the Middle East as violent rises between Israel and Hezbollah. Now, according to Kamala Harris, we don't have any troops in the Middle East or in areas of conflict, but we actually do. You guys uh, may have seen the short that I posted. I think I posted it on my channel. If I didn't, I definitely posted it on my social media, so make sure you guys are following me there. You can find all my social media links below this video, and of course, uh, my affiliate marketing links are all down there. All helps out the channel. But, of course, you guys liking and interacting and engaging with the content helps the channel. And that's across the board. That's, that's, that's everybody on Rumble, Odyssey, BitChute, everybody across the board. But I do want to thank all you guys, of course, here on YouTube as well for your guys' continued support, your likes, your shares, and your comments. And appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon. You guys can click on that to subscribe if you're watching it here on YouTube, as well as to select notifications. That way you know when it's continuing on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.